And what is up, everybody? Jeremy here, excited to bring you another Starfield ship building video. Today, we have the Golden Wingnut coming at you. It's golden, it's nutty, and it looks like a wingnut, so therefore, it is the Golden Wingnut. And yes, you want to find all the parts to use this build, you can find it in the GUI sheet, which is listed in the description. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, as everything does help out. Now to the build, we're just going to break this apart really quickly. Faster, faster, faster. Getting there. All right, there we go, everybody. Let's start off with our favorite part. So yeah, we are using fractionals today. And... Um, yeah, let's get started. We're gonna start off the ship at 200 landing bay. Put that to the front. To the front of this, we have the Deimos Companionway. I'm gonna duplicate one down underneath because we're gonna put in a Kantiki B500 bridge up on top and then to the front. I cannot bring this in here, so I need to bring this down. So by the way, I am currently at this. Oh, it just locked in. Well, how lucky is that? By the way, I'm at, at the I'm at the landing pad with Ship Builder, and um, so I brought a few parts in from different star yards. So I brought in the Contigi B500 bridge and the Exterminator 95 MEV auto Helen beam. So that means I can't easily duplicate this. So if I want to use a duplication glitch, I can't do it because in order for to use a duplication glitch, you need to be able to duplicate the piece that you want to duplicate. But this piece, the Hope 11 Docker, I can't. So I'm going to use a duplication glitch to move this up one because right now it's trying to clip the bridge right now. And I want to move it into this spot. So what I'm gonna do is use duplication. Oh, I don't, I don't know how that happens. I don't know how that happens, but duplication glitch. So something that's not based on chance that I could uh, force. I'm gonna select the module by clicking on it. And there's a free available snapping point right up there. Even though it's clipping the bridge, it's free and, available, free and unavailable snapping point. Hit control G on the keyboard. Hit enter to accept the move. Oh, I moved my mouse. Make sure you don't move your mouse. Right, there you go. Control, enter. So that's how you do it. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the controller really quick. So I'm gonna take my controller, select the module by tapping RB, tap Y to duplicate it up, tap A to accept it, and there it is, everybody. So yes, any kind of glitch, it likes to move to a free and available stamping point. So if I did have one underneath, guys, if I did have one underneath, I might confuse it, it might go down first, right? So that can happen. If it does go down, that's okay, because you block off that stamping point, the next place it can go is up. So there you go. All modules accounted for. That's cool. Next up, we're gonna use a duplication buddy glitch to move in one, two, three, four modules into the same spot right there. So duplication buddy glitch, one, you're, du you're duplicating these items and you're trying, to we're trying to merge all these items into this one spot right here and share the snapping point of on top of the ship bed 200 landing bay. So I'm just gonna grab any module. I'm gonna just quickly grab the 500T HE3 tank. It could be any module as long as it has a top and bottom snapping point. I'm gonna duplicate it up once because once again, every single glitch likes to move to a free and available snapping point first. I'm trying to move this down into a point where, there's, where it's completely occupied. All the snapping points here are occupied. But on my buddy here, right, my buddy, I have a free and available snapping point on the bottom. So. That's why I'm covering the top of this module right here. This the, these are the two modules I want to duplicate. And I'm going to cover the top, the snapping point up here. So that the only place there's a free and bubble snapping point between these two modules is the bottom snapping point here in this duplication, or on this buddy, all right? So I'm going to select this and then shift click drag to select the other module. Make sure my cursor is above one of the highlighted modules. Hit control G, it duplicated down, and that is perfection, all right? I'm gonna move this piece, move down to the next one, and move this, move both these down actually. So I'm trying to cover the, the top sniping point up here with the shield generator. So that's what I'm doing. So this time I'm gonna do it with a controller. I'm gonna select the R2000 Alpha Grav Drive and select by um, so I'm selecting it by tapping RB. Then select the 500T HE3 tank in my buddy stack right here by tapping RB. Tap Y to duplicate it down. Tap A to accept it, and it should be in there. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is double click on the rest of the ship, make sure everything is still connected. It is, or you can tap LB on the controller. Last one I'm going to do is move in the 60S protector shield generator. This only has one snapping point to the bottom, so this should be able to duplicate down without any issues. And it did. Or no, it didn't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's try it again. There it goes. Yep, it's still in there. You see that the shield is still there. Cool. There you go, everybody. So that is the main section 
of the ship. Next up, I'm going to bring over a Nova Wing port. All right. And then I'm going to work on a fractional glitch where I have this module kind of like floating up like right here, like about right there. All right, so to do this, I'm going to first cover up this mo these modules, or oh, these snapping points. I'm just going to put in a horizon with them out. That's good. So I'm just cover it up because, once again, modules like to move into free and available snapping points. And if I want this glitch to work, see it's snapping something here. Where, where, are you, where are you snapping to? Oh, is this not... Oh, okay, see, when it, so something in here is not connected. Oh, okay, it's the grab drive. So if I double click, you can see that the grab drive is not being highlighted in red. So it's not exactly in the correct spot. So in order to fix that, I'm just gonna double click the rest of the ship or hit LB on controller, hit spacebar, and let the, m the ship move to that um, disconnected module, or you're hitting A on the controller. So yeah, I'm gonna double click, or LB on the controller, hit spacebar, or A on the controller, let things turn green, basically trying to connect the pieces together, then accept the movement by tapping either spacebar, enter on the keyboard, or A on the controller. I'm gonna hit A on the controller real quick. There it is. So there you go, guys. Now all that should be connected. Now this should not have any conflicts at all. That's perfection. But actually, I need to do, make sure it's, yeah. So one, I wanna make sure it's at a specific level point. So I'm gonna move it in there first, and then I'll move this back later. I'm going to bring in a um, Nova, I mean, not Vanguard, Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector here. So what I'm trying to do is bridge the, um, the main ship to go through the Nova Wing part and then bridge through the Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector and connect to one of these weapon snapping points right here. So that's what it's doing. So weapons can share multiple points to, um, on other weapon maps. So now I'm going to bring this in. Right? I'm going to duplicate this up because now this guy is going to go a half step up and I'm going to position, align this weapon mount right here with this part, with this guy right here. So I'm just going to add in a random weapon to uh, that spot right here. Sure, sure it's a Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector. I'm going to select Nova Cowling and then shift click drag to select the Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector, then duplicate it up. So between these pieces, the, free, the closest free and available snapping point is that snapping point right there on the horizon weapon mount, which should move this about a half step up. So let's do that. Boom. Half step up right there. That is perfection. I am going to duplicate one of these so I can have this as reference so I can easily just, I, basically if I want to have another half step item. In the world. Oh, there's something in there. Oh. Okay, I think the I think there's a Nova, there's a Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector inside one of those guys. So I, all right, I need to put in a new one, or put in a new set. So yeah, one. So what happens? I'll show you what happens. I'll show you what happens real quick after I do it. So after you merge things together, it might get stuck in each. Like the weapon might get stuck inside the um, another module. So here you go. But which is okay. Which is okay. All right, something like that. All right. Okay, so let's move this guy out. Follow the steps again. Bring it in, so it, so it can get the alignment. All right, pull it out. Put this in. Bring or do the duplication right here to move it a half step up. Boom. Duplicate one of these, so it's that that same level, right? So I want to keep this level. I can be able to flip it now. Perfect. So this is going to be my reference point. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is just move this in, get it, to, it's like you're eyeballing it, you're eyeballing it, I want to get it to close to the ship, and have this point aligned with this like little bar right here, so that's what I want to do, so kind of move it, kind of get it uh, where the weapon is, flip it once, flip it twice by tapping Z on the keyboard or Y on the controller, then tap escape or tap to escape the movement, or cancel the movement, Double click the rest of the ship and you can see it's connected. Cool. All right, so that's not exact alignment, but so yeah, let me show you what happens. If I pull this out, so it, notice that the weapon is no longer there, so that that weapon is inside the Nova Cowling. It's like on the top side of this mount on the bottom. That's what's, that's what's happening. So yeah, it moved to this, like the, the inside, the top of this, this that mounting point. All right, so let's do that again. 
of it. A little bit closer. Let's see what happens. So it's not... Alright, so let's move it like right here. Flip it. Double click. Oh, nice. That's a good starting point. Let's work with that. Alright, so we're going to work with that. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> As I look at it from the side view. Here. One more time. One more time. Let's not make this the whole video. Alright, that's too close. There we go. Alright, perfect. So, top view from the side is probably the best. Mm, missed it a little bit. That's okay. We're, we're good. We're good. That should be fine. Alright, so a little off and, and a half step up. Perfect. Next up. What are we going to do next? Um, we're going to lo load them some weapons real quick. So I have a PPO 175 Auto Helm, or maybe I can't. Oh, I did this a different way. That's right. All right. I'll show you a little bit. Now, we have these guys. So, first things first, I'm going to move it here to get the alignment. I want the same alignment as this half step. All right, so now it's... Or I mean, I could have moved this bit back to that, too. <laughs> I just could have... I could have moved this bit back. And then I'm going to duplicate it one up. Right, and then bring a van uh, I mean an equipment plate on top. Okay. Double click on this piece so I have so you can have the equipment plate and the engine selected at the same time or you're tapping LB on the controller. And then what I want to do is align this equipment plate with this top Nova Kelling right there. And what I want to do, alright, now well, now I'm gonna actually move out this horizon with the mount. I want to get it as close to the central point right here before it turns red. Right, before it becomes illegal. And that's what I want to find. It's about right there. About right there. Double click. All right, cool. Now I'm going to set up a duplication buddy glitch. I'm just duplicate a white door 3015 engine. I'm going to duplicate it down one spot. So double click. Make sure both the equipment plate and the white door 3015 engine are selected. Shift click, drag, or tap. Or you're tapping RB on both of those. Or you're probably tapping LB to select all this first on the controller, and then select and then hit RB on the second engine, or you just shift click drag, duplicate it down once. Perfection. Oh, that's off. <laughs> One second, I need to pull it down a little bit, guys. Oh no, that's right. Maybe this is too far, too close in. That's fine. But we'll, oh, okay. You can work at aesthetics. You can like Jerry, like uh. What's it called? Wordsmith. Now, word, wordsmith. <laughs> Smooth out the details later. Because what I wanted to do was have this be a smooth transition. Like a little bit of smooth transition. To that, yeah. That's that's what I wanted to do. A little bit of smooth transition. It's not really smooth right now. So either this guy's too far in or this guy's too far out. Nonetheless, that's the idea. All right, so that's the idea. Continuing the build. We're going to move over to Exterminator 95 MEV Auto Helen Beam. I'm going to delete one of these. So I bought these three weapons in from, what's that place called? Uh, Shroud Eklund. All right, so I'm going to delete one so that allows me to duplicate it up once. Boom, and then I'm going to delete the other one. So I can duplicate it back down. Oh wait, this is out of order. One second, guys. This is out of order. Bring this in first. All right, duplicate that up. Boom. Delete this. Bring in this guy. All right. Then bring it. Oh wait, no. <laughs> I know I did this. Okay. Okay, because I, I, I'm having these all be in the same spot. So what I did first, I moved this in, duplicated it up so it's floating. All right, so I'm, I'm trying to, or delete the duplicates first. So I have three of these total that I can duplicate because I'm, I purchased three from Stroud Eklund. Then move over to the Vanguard Obliterator on Projector. Duplicate this one down. Boom, and duplicate it down again. So then you have two in the same spot because there's three of these total. Double click, everything's t connected, perfect. Now to finish the wing, we're gonna bring in the PBO 175 Auto Helen beams, place it on the top side of the Nova Cowling, 
then I'm gonna click this, because I, I can't just attach this underneath, right? It's illegal, so I need to duplicate it down. So I'm gonna delete this, then select this guy, duplicate it down once, perfection. Oh, I messed up another thing. <laughs> I'm supposed to, I'm, there's supposed to be two Vanguard, oh, I can click it, I can click it, all right, cool. There's supposed to be two Vanguard Obliterator Arm Projectors there too. There's six total, so, oh, let me just move this. All right, there you go. That's it. That's it. Cool. Woo! Woo! And we can move our helpers, and let's finish off this side by bringing in... The Hope Tech Nose. Boom. And then bring in another Hope Tech Nose in front of that Hope Tech Nose. Flip glitch it. And then you notice that it's not connected. Double click the rest of the ship. So this is a flip glitch or variation glitch to close an already occupied snapping point. So yeah, I, I highlighted the rest of the ship and you notice that this is still not connected. Hit spacebar to let things turn green or A on the controller. And then when things turn green, it connects everything together. Hit spacebar, enter or A on the controller again to accept the movement. Double click, make sure everything's there and everything is. Cool, so let's just finish this side and call it a day. Call it a video because that's really all you need. That, the other side is generally the same thing. The only difference is we're just moving one Exterminator 95 MEV Alto Helen Beam versus two because this one has, yeah, this it's, it totally has three total. Um, so yeah, move this in. I'm going to use the variation glitch. So this has a flip and a variation glitch. So these are the Pinpoint 3G landing gear. Move it in. If I flip it, it's going to move up. See, you notice that? So I want to just keep it down. And the best way to do that is swap through the variations instead. Cancel the movement when you hit the variation you like. Double click, everything's good. This one's going to be a little different, right? Because this spot right here is already occupied by the Nova Wing, the wing port. So I'm going to do is bring it in, variation glitch it in, and then create another buddy. So another buddy stack to duplicate it back down. Boom. All right, everybody, that's it. So only difference on this side again is instead of um, instead of two of these the Exterminator 95 MEV Auto Helen beams, you're only moving in one. And then I'm just what, what I would do is just like yeah, same process. I'm going to duplicate one of these up first. Boom, delete the one on the bottom. Move over the Exterminator 95 95 MEV Auto Helen beam, and then duplicate this guy down once, and duplicate down twice. And then, that's it, cool. And there you go. So, and then the, the other module would be right here to start. So, yeah, if you're thinking, why do I not have a full set of weapons? Because this we that that Vanguard Obliterator Auto Rejector would be right here, if I can find it, there. Yeah, so it'd be right there when you start setting up your flip glitch or your, your half step. Cool. That's it, everybody. So that's how you do this thing. Let's go take a tour. Let's take a tour. Let's take a look at it. Your wing nut. Yeah, see, I try to smooth it out better here. I mean, it's not, it's not entirely smooth, but it looks, looks better. All right, let's take a tour. Golden wing nut. Hey. We enter from the back. Go into the to the landing bay entrance. And here is the companionway, everybody. The demo's companionway. Into the front, we have the docker, and up top, we are gonna have our ship. So nothing is like, yeah, nothing is merging into the cockpit right now. It's totally cool. But yeah, it looks like everyone's here. So let's go ahead and that's, uh, that's your tour, everybody. Let's go ahead and sit in the, in the cockpit. Let's bring out our fun battle music. And yes, don't forget, you can find all the parts listed in a Google Sheet in a, in a link. Found in a link in the description. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Pressure holding. It's golden, it's nutty, and it looks like a wing nut. It's the golden wing nut. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's make sure our weapon allocation is where we want it to be. That's perfect. 
section. Okay. Let's take this bad boy to Cricks and do our thing. Put some power into a grab drive, and while we are grab jumping out, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hey! Take out the Wraith. Don't worry, one more. Alright, and let's take out this other Reaper. Hey, and that, my friends, is your golden wing nut hope you enjoyed this video and of course if you like it don't forget to hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and yes you can find all the parts found in a google sheet listed in the description there's a link in the description but yes everybody have yourselves an amazing day if you have any questions for me please let me know but beyond that guys we'll see you again real soon peace out and thank you so much for all of the support as always without you we wouldn't be doing what we're doing so thank you thank you thank you see you again real soon guys peace I'm